so my dad harvested a bunch of apples uh, the most apples he's ever harvested from his apple tree in his front yard this year so he has been gracious enough to share with us and um so they look really good and the kids say they taste really good because they've been eating them just you know taking from my pile that I'm wanting to process today but I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make applesauce um, pretty easy very simple we're not gonna sweeten it with anything um, so the baby should be eating solid foods really soon which is disturbing to me but um, yeah it won't be long before he is eating solid foods and my kids really like applesauce as well so I'm gonna make them some unsweetened applesauce today Travis has been wanting to help me today, right? Yeah. Uh, and I have this really old-fashioned um, apple core peeler. It's by Pampered Chef, and the first couple times I tried it, I liked it, um, but I don't think I'm going to have the patience to do this today. It's just, I don't know. It just, maybe if you guys have some suggestions about this. Um, we can't ever get it to fasten to the table very well. Um, and then, so it kind of moves around a little bit, which is awful. Um, and then, we adju I adjust the little, the little thing that peels it. So that it's not taking off too much of the peeling but sometimes it just eats so much into the apple steel that you feel like i'm wasting most of the apple with this so i'm actually going to avoid my frustration and i'm going to peel them by hand and then hand them off to travis and he's going to use the also by pamper chef actually um I don't sell pepper chef or anything like that but um he's going to use this core show them what it is it um the um the stem goes right there and the apples go right there that's right so it it cores it and wedges it right yeah okay so he's going to have that job after i peel them for him and hopefully this will go fairly smoothly so Somehow peeling on them. 
little bit of pill is okay, but I just don't want any core or seeds, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, like 10 hours later, <laughs> I'm back to making applesauce. Um, Adam and I decided to process like a ton of milk today into various forms. So we made um, mozzarella, ricotta, um, I need to do yogurt. I didn't even get around to doing the yogurt. I did butter, a bunch of butter. Um, I'm making ice cream now. Like we're just trying to use up some milk that has gotten a little bit older and um so and we did school and it the day just got away so i'm back to making applesauce i got some help uh peeling and quartering the apples so i've got them right here in my pot um this is just like the largest stock pot i have i need a larger stock pot obviously um because i can't make a whole lot at a time so uh, I'm going to I put a little bit of water in the bottom of this just so it won't stick to the bottom and I'm gonna cook these until they're soft um, the recipe that I use actually says to puree them after they're soft uh, and I might do that I think I've done that I don't think I've actually done that before I think I've just gotten them soft enough so that I can um, stir them chop them up real good mix them real good so that they're I mean they're pureed anyway so um, I'll probably do that again. I don't mind if it's a little bit chunky applesauce. It doesn't bother me um, or the kids. So uh, that's probably what we'll do instead of pureeing. I don't have a good um, food processor or blender uh, or anything like that. So we're probably going to stick with this method right now. So I'm going to cook these down and I'm not adding sugar. Uh, you can add sugar, but this is going to be unsweetened. Um, so here we go. All right, I actually think I'm gonna turn the heat down on this and just simmer it really for a while um, until it's soft enough. I don't, I can't tell you how long, uh, but I'm gonna simmer it until it's soft enough that I can just break it apart with my wooden spoon instead of pureeing it. Um, I know what I've done in the past is I've cooked it in the crock pot in the slow cooker all day or for a while, several hours and uh, that's how it's gotten to be so soft but um, I think I'm gonna turn the heat down let this simmer until it's really broken apart and then I'm going to put it in some jars um, I'm gonna do quart jars and um, then I'm going to process them in a water bath for 20 minutes so that's all uh, if you were wanting the recipe to this I got it from the ball book the ball canning book and that's really the book I use for all of my canning stuff anything that we've done this year and most years has come from that book so I'm gonna link that down in the description for you if you would like to purchase it or look at it online yourself it's really really helpful it's got tons and tons of recipes in it and information on how to process your harvest so anyways um, I'm gonna get to this I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So surprise it's another day um, this is just your reminder to have grace with yourself and your family when you are canning or doing anything like this around the house because things happen and you're not able to finish sometimes so um, so 
So today we are finishing up the applesauce and actually uh, I didn't have as much as I thought I would. So I'm actually going to process pears. This is actually pear uh, sauce that I'm making and I'm just going to combine them. I'm just going to do a pear applesauce. So I'll have a full canner's uh, worth to do today. So I hope you have enjoyed watching the process and I hope you will share with me in the comments some things that you have made this season as far as um, preserving your fruit. So.